Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're the Blue Barons. I'm Trevor. And I'm Griffin. And we apologize for the lack of videos uploaded lately, um, but we're back. Yeah. In business. Um, and I'm back. Going back to my room. Bye. Okay. This is our review of the Nikon D3100 camera and the Nikon AFS VR 18 through 55 millimeter lens. I hope you enjoy. Now, if you're familiar with SLR cameras on the market today, you know that they come at a quite hefty cost. Uh, entry level bundles, including the body and a lens, uh, can run you upwards of $700, and these are considered entry level by professional photographers. Uh, so this is a way out of our price range, so I decided to browse Amazon. I found this camera, the Nikon D3100F, and it advertised 1080p 24fps footage and 4K pictures. So I got it for $169 used. It was discontinued by Nikon, and that's probably why I got it so cheap. I paired it with another discontinued item, this lens, the Nikon, the Nikon AFS VR 18-55mm lens. I saw it was a decent focal length and it fit and it was uh, $84 for us. Uh, uh, right, right now, now I, think you can, I think you can get it for around $64 though. Now, when I opened the package we found the body of the camera, a lens, a, a sensor cap for the camera, um, a battery, and a battery charger. Um, this is all fairly straightforward, and it was very simple to assemble the camera just putting the lens on. Before we get into some footage, I would like to note that I'm not a professional photographer, and I have not handled an SLR camera before, so uh, if there's some lack of quality if the picture is not reaching their full potential. Right now they look good, but if they're not reaching their full potential, it's because I don't know that much yet, but I'm learning. So this camera has a built-in flash, which is, with some settings, it's really good for portrait and studio pictures. Um, it has a focal length of 18 through 55 millimeters, so if you can see here, you can zoom in quite decently, uh, pretty far, and you at the 18 millimeters you have a nice open view. It's actually a really good focal length for only uh, right now $64, but you know, if you wanted to get into the several hundreds of millimeter focal length, you'd be looking at over a thousand dollars because these are used in like safaris when you can't get up to the lions and you have to be half a mile away. Um, I mentioned that this camera has VR, which is vibration reduction, and if you want to see what that does, um, here's a video of me uh, walking with vibration reduction, and here's a video of me without. See, with you can see I'm taking footsteps, but it's not jolting, but without you can see me just... Um, this is a massive improvement to what we were filming with before, which was my brother's phone. Uh, it's, um, it should really improve the quality of our videos. Um, now let's get on to some pictures.
These are really crisp pictures, uh, even downsampled from 4K as they are, you're watching YouTube. Um, they're really crisp and they're nice. You can get a really good uh, depth of field. Uh, you can control it. You have a lot of control over this camera. Um, what's cool about cameras, about SLR cameras, is if you get the cheapest camera you can that's still an SLR, you get, you're getting the same options as someone who buys a $3,000 camera. It's just the sensor isn't as good and maybe the lens or the image processor. But you're still getting the same creative ability as someone who does this for a living. Um, you know, this we got this all at $250, which is really good compared to bundles with the same specifications. You'd be seeing them around $400, $450. So we got it at a big deal. Um, if you want to know, there's going to be a video on our channel coming up soon about how we made this money this summer. Uh, we made it independently without getting a job. Um, this, I'm starting to use Blender 3D video editing software. Well, it's Blender is primarily a 3D modeler software, but I'm it has a 3D video editing function, and it'll be a great improvement to Windows M Movie Maker, which I was using previously. So these two together, along with our microphone, should make a decently, decently high quality videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of the Nikon D3100 camera, and uh, well, I'll see you next time.